what's up YouTube lost gamer 8519 back with another episode of pickups um, the video you just saw my last pickup video I just recorded that yesterday and um, I went game hunting today um, this morning uh, all this morning actually and um, you know my normal stops on flea markets um, pawn shops thrift stores stuff like that uh, surprisingly I didn't pick anything at the um, at my retro stores I didn't stop by any of them today um, I didn't feel like going into them because I just went to them last week and they had I just you know didn't feel like I needed to and um, I just wanted to find some other stuff out, out in the wild and um, I scored pretty good today I must say I'm happy with what I got and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you guys um, what I came across I, I got a good bundle that I'll show you at the end that I found at my first uh, flea market that I went to but um, I'll save that for last so first let me go ahead and show you guys what I got from my other stuff that I bought. Um, first I got an uh, AV selector switch or AV switcher from Radio Shack for like 20 bucks. Um, if you guys watched my previous video my little retro gaming setup, um, I needed one of these so I just stopped by and see if they had one and they did so it's a pretty good decent one for 20 bucks. Uh, let me see, I think it has S video on it and the AV, and the AV connector so I have six um, six systems in there right now. No, five systems, and um, I'll probably add another system in there somewhere. So I'll probably have to get another one, and maybe you know daisy chain them somehow. But um, I needed one for sure, so I'm very happy to get one, and I'm probably gonna set that up sometime soon. All right, at another at the flea market, I picked up three games. Uh, first is Super Pinball for Super Nintendo. Carts kind of dirty, but you know most uh, Super Nintendo carts are dirty when you find them in the wild. I paid three bucks for this. I think I overpaid, but um, I don't know. I wanted that pinball game, and this one I'm very, very happy to get because I've been looking for this game for a long time. Is uh, X Men Mutant Apocalypse. Uh, this game is one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. I played this game a lot back in the day, and um, I never came across one in the wild and you know me being me I don't like paying retail price for it like on eBay or anything like that but three dollars uh, that's definitely a good price for this game so I picked that up very fast I would definitely be playing that a lot sometime soon and last I got a complete copy of Toe Jam and Nero 3 for the original Xbox Mission to Earth has a crack on the bottom of the case, but that doesn't matter too much to me. I can always replace the case. I have some sports games I can replace it with, so. I paid $4 for this, uh, which is not a bad deal. Uh, this game is like a $10 game, so. Um, missing in my collection, so happy to have it. All right, guys. Uh, lastly is my, let me move this stuff out of the way. Let me go ahead and tell you the story about this one. Um, I was walking past these two two ladies that had you know a little table set up and um, I just walked by it and I went around their table because I was trying to look at another another aisle and something caught the corner of my eye I saw a box sitting in the back or a basket and it was like um, just a Nintendo a Super Nintendo and I went up to it and there was a sticker she put on it for everything in that basket was $25 and which I was willing to will, willing to pay for it, but you know I just wanted to see if she was gonna go down. So I asked her, "Will you take 20 for everything?" And she like took it with no hesitation. She's like, "Yeah, I'll take 20." Um, so I think she was just trying to get rid of it. I asked if it, asked if it's been tested and if it works. She said it's been a long time, but it's been in storage. So so pretty much I, I'm hoping that it will, that it will work. So but let me go ahead and show you guys. It's a uh, Super Nintendo and Nintendo bundle. If I can grab this basket, see, I'll show you guys this big basket of stuff. Let me move this out the way, make some room for everything. Alright, first is a Super Nintendo. It's um, pretty dirty, it's a crack in the front right here, um, but it's doesn't seem like it's yellowed a lot it's just dirty so I can clean that up my um, 
my Super Nintendo came the exact same way when I first got it. It was filthy, man, and um, you know, a little elbow grease and cleaning, that would definitely look good. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, I just came straight home and recorded this video uh, so you guys can actually see what I got and uh, I'm going through this basket too so for the first time I, I saw a few things I knew I wanted in there already so I'm going through it right now with you guys though all right <clears throat> next is uh, Nintendo now this one's pretty dirty too definitely seen this in storage here's that little sticker all for 25 but I got it for 20 which is an awesome deal let me see if there's a game in there oh there's a game in there, awesome. Uh, Donkey Kong Classics. I didn't even look, there's a game in there, so I couldn't because that sticker was right there. So, yeah. Let me do this right here. So, I got a, another game. I didn't know that game was in there, Donkey Kong Classics. Now, this, was, um, this is what I was surprised to see in that basket. And I don't know if it works or not, but I've never seen one in the wild. And um, it's a Nintendo Power Glove. I've never seen this in the wild before, nor have I ever played with one. Or do I know any games that go with it? No, I don't. Um, but i just never seen this out in the wild before. So uh, it was it was under it was under the systems, but I could tell what it was just you know because I had the fingers hanging like hanging off the side. So. I was surprised to see that in there, so I, I need to do more research on the Power Glove. I really don't know much about it. Um, the Zapper, it's pretty yellow. I don't know. I don't know how the Zapper got yellowed, but the systems didn't. Maybe it's just dirty. I don't know. But you know, I can always get a replacement Zapper. It's nothing. Not a big deal when it comes to that. Okay. Cords. Uh, cords. Are cord controller. Here's the two Nintendo games that I saw. Of course, Mario and Duck Hunt has to be there. And uh, Burger Time. Never played that before. Let's see. Got more controllers. Super Nintendo controllers are in there. Got two of each. I need I needed more Super Nintendo controllers too, so I'm very happy to have those. And uh, the games, which I'm very happy to get, that I want into my collection, well, except this one is a uh, Super Battleship, Mortal Kombat Classic. They have it, they already had it labeled at two dollars and fifty cents, I think. Most of these had little price tags on them. But hopefully, I can get it off the label without damaging it. Um, Donkey Kong Country. Didn't have this and very happy to have it now. And last is Killer Instinct. So yeah guys, um that's what I got today in a matter of this morning from about eight o'clock to twelve, I would say. Um all of this stuff was from the flea market except for the uh A V switcher of course, but Pretty good, pretty good uh, finds at the flea market, I would say this time. Usually, I don't find this uh, much good stuff or a good deal as like what I found today. So I'm, I was definitely excited about it, and I just wanted to show you guys what I got. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, always love to hear your comments, of course. And until next time, guys. Boss Gamer 8519, and I'm signing off. Peace.